What's going on YouTube? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michael Patrick Strout. They call me MPS here at Wix Nation. And today I'm going to be explaining the pros and cons between Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. And what you need to know in order to make an educated decision on how to best prepare moving forward for your business or your website. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, I would kindly ask you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss a piece of content and you'll instantly plug into almost 30,000 plus other like-minded entrepreneurs. Now, if you couldn't tell by the name of my channel, yes, it is Wix Training Academy, but I'm giving you a very honest overlook of today's three platforms which include Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. If you'd like to learn more about me and kind of what I do, you can head over to the link in the description below, wixmywebsite.com, and check it out. But until then, let's go into today's content, which is the pros and cons of these platforms. Now, yes, I'm a Wix guy. I enjoy Wix. So we're going to start with the Wix platform. But I am not naive to the fact that there are some cons to Wix. So first and foremost, some of the pros I want to touch on. Number one, Wix is just a very easy to use platform. For anyone that's out there that has never built a website before, the great news behind Wix is you can go on and you can quickly learn how to build at least a basic framework or even use Wix's artificial design intelligence to quickly build a website. And then from there, the great news is Wix offers some advanced capabilities. So for those of you that don't know and that are fairly new to Wix, maybe you previously knew Wix and Wix is a completely different platform now than it was, say, two years ago, they've released something called Corvid by Wix, previously known as Wix Code. And what this is, is it's a completely open source development uh, ecosystem within the Wix platform. So you can now build back-end web apps, you can use JavaScript on the front end and back end to build a pretty sophisticated website. For instance, you could technically build websites like Airbnb, like Facebook, like Twitter. These are examples of websites you could build on Wix and you have the capability to do so. In addition to that, Wix offers an all-in-one solution. And what I mean by this is from the development and design aspect of your website all the way to a CRM and marketing end of your website. So Wix actually has a uh, Ascend by Wix, which is their kind of in-house marketing suite built into your dashboard. You can send automatic emails. You have a CRM that you can access all of your interactions with uh, members, customers. You have an inbox to communicate with them. You can do paid plans and manage all the members on your website. Uh, you have tracking and analytics, and Wix even has an in-house payment processor that they built out. So they really offer an all-in-one solution. So you can keep your whole business in one place, which is pretty nice. And then lastly, the pro I want to touch on with Wix is that there's immense resources. Between the videos I create here on my channel, uh, all the tutorials you have access to, all the way up to their support. They offer a pretty large uh, variety of resources from Corvid Forum to their technical support to their uh, support documents to people on YouTube like myself. There's a lot of resources out there for you to access. Although Wix does have a couple of cons. Yes, I'm sorry Wix, I know you're working on them. But the two cons that really hit my attention are number one, it is a bit slower on the performance end of things. So Wix is really, really working on this and they just released a program called Wix Turbo recently that they're working on the response, or excuse me, the uh, performance of the website. So Wix was known as having slow websites and they can be slow. It does come down to kind of what type of website it is and what type of content, the amount of content that's on it. Uh, but this is a con of Wix. And the second one is the lack of responsiveness. So being able to move between different mediums, whether it's mobile, tablet, or desktop, Wix has trouble with that. It's not automatically responsive. They do have a mobile editor that you can edit through and kind of create a mobile version of your website. As we all know, that's very important nowadays, but it's still not completely responsive. Again, another thing Wix is actively working on. So those are my pros and cons breakdown of Wix. Now I'd like to move into Squarespace. So one of the things I really have to compliment Squarespace on as a pro is that they've got really quality design. So their design looks very crisp. Their templates are really nice. They've got a decent template selection to choose from. And it 
is responsive. So Squarespace websites are responsive. So when you start it on, uh, you know, the desktop or laptop, whatever you're building on, it'll seamlessly move across each medium. So tablets and mobile, and it'll look just as good as it does on your desktop, but it will just fit to that specific medium, which is really, really nice. And then lastly, for a pro with Squarespace, it, it is affordable. I mean, it's affordable. And obviously, that's always a pro when you're starting a new business or you're trying to launch a website, online business, whatever that may look like. If you can find a more affordable option, you t tend to go with that, right? So those are the pros to Squarespace. The cons, it is limited in functionality. So it doesn't even compare on a scale to Wix as far as being able to have a like code ecosystem and an all-in-one solution. It doesn't have all of that. It gives you all the tools to build a basic website to give you kind of like a good static type website, maybe a basic, you know, functionality style website with a... Uh, with some limited functionality, but it is overall limited on what you're able to do in functionality and feature terms. You can't get too sophisticated with the website. It really puts an emphasis on design. In addition to that, it's not as user-friendly as something like Wix. So Squarespace, I personally jumped into it before and I didn't just jump in and automatically kind of know where to go, how to use it. Like Wix, I just jumped in they made everything pretty clearly marked, so I knew kind of where to click to experiment with things. Squarespace isn't as user-friendly. It's not bad on a scale, but it's not as user-friendly. So that's my pro and cons breakdown of Squarespace. And then lastly, WordPress. I know, right? WordPress, the, the king of the jungle, so they think. Uh, WordPress does currently power the majority of websites on the internet. Wix is number two, right behind uh, WordPress and Wix currently has 165 plus million users on their platform. But what are the pros to WordPress? Number one, it is widely used. For those of you that don't know what WordPress is, you might be living under a box <laughs> because WordPress is pretty commonly known and it's widely used. Another big pro to WordPress is that it's got really great SEO. It's proven that uh, WordPress websites generate some pretty great organic SEO. Again, if it's properly curated and done in the correct manner. If it's not, then it'd be like any other website. You know, a perfect SEO Wix website is just as good as a perfect SEO WordPress website. So I don't want to confuse that, but WordPress is known to have pretty great organic reach. And then the third pro between our with WordPress is because it's widely used, there's a lot of options in terms of plugins and plugins are kind of apps you install on WordPress. And there's literally thousands of plugins for you to pull from and do all different types of things between like membership options, uh, between online stores, Yoast SEO. I mean, there's a lot of variety of plugins that you can use to instantly work on a WordPress website and do just about anything you need to do. But on the flip side of that, there's a couple of cons. Number one, it's tough to use. So WordPress isn't even comparing to Wix or Squarespace on ease of use. There's a lot more involved with WordPress. Sometimes you have to be able to code a little bit to uh, create some of the custom solutions you may need. Some of the plugins can get a little funky and you know kind of clunky to use. Um, you know, some of your blog and website design editing can get tough to do. So it's tough to use, number one, for not an everyday user. And then number two, it's time consuming because it's tough to use. So it chews up a lot more time, which means a slower time to market. And obviously, that would be the third con, which is a slower startup time. If you're out here looking to choose the right solution to build your startup, your website, your platform, your business, whatever that may be, WordPress is typically a slower startup time because of the steps that you have to take. It doesn't have that all-in-one solution of like all the hosting is right there on Wix and you get your domain right on Wix. Typically with WordPress, you have to use an outside host such as you know Bluehost or uh, HostGator, and then you have to host your site on one of those, and then you have to build the website, and it gets clunky and it's complex. So there are pros to WordPress, but there are also several cons, which is why in my analysis, and this is not because I am an influencer and I work with Wix, but in my true analysis, Wix is an amazing platform to go to in most case scenarios. If you're trying to build a highly, highly scalable 
uh, platform or software, WordPress may be a better solution at the moment just because Wix is working out some of the irons of their performance. Uh, but with that in mind, Wix also has an enterprise level hosting plan which bumps performance. You obviously invest for that performance a much more significant amount on a monthly basis, but it is guaranteed to give you better performance, 99.9% .9 uptime. So there's a lot of pros to that. So in my overall honest opinion, Wix would be the platform to go with. Uh, you can go ahead and check out Wix in the description below. Yes, it is an affiliate link of mine. Uh, but if you like this video and you want to support the channel, I would love if you can utilize that. But that is my true and honest breakdown of pros and cons between Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. Comment on your thoughts and your opinions. I'm really curious to hear what your feedback is on this topic because I know it can actually get pretty controversial at times. I know Wix versus WordPress is a big battle, especially in the SEO world, which Wix is literally running a campaign for Wix SEO versus like other platforms, specifically WordPress. So it's a pretty big controversial battle and it's kind of fun to watch, but that's my honest breakdown of it. And lastly, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video. If you want to see more videos like this, along with tons of Wix training content, because obviously you're heading to Wix now to watch uh, and create your next website, right? So you might want to come use this channel as a resource and you'll want to be subscribed so you don't miss that content. Turn those bell notifications on and instantly plug into 30,000 plus like-minded entrepreneurs here on the channel in Wix Nation. And you can head over to WixMyWebsite.com, link in the description below, and you get free instant access to our Wix Training Academy portal lined with webinars and training content, resources, and more. Other than that, I really appreciate you tuning in for today's video, and I hope you found it helpful. I guess I'll find out in the comments below, depending on your feedback. But thank you again, and I'll catch you on our next one.